All right, this is the Algebra 1 practice EOC number 2, and this is question 31. And it says, the table below shows f of n, the cost, including delivery, for ordering n number of chocolate bars from an online retailer. And then it gives us this pretty graphic here, okay? It wants us, or it wants us to figure out which function best describes the data, okay? Well, one trick that I can I typically go with, because some people are looking at this and they're like, I don't understand what this data is. Well, what you can do is, again, you can kind of figure out what your difference is going to be on the left. Well, the difference between 18 and 16 is 2. The difference between 16 and 14 is 2. And between 14 and 12 is also 2. So these numbers are the same. So we're thinking we're doing all right for ourselves, okay? And then over here, you see the difference between 62 and 56 is 6. The difference between 56 and 50 is 6, and the difference between 50 and 44 is also 6. This was our first time we tried to find the differences, and we know that anything to the first power is linear. Okay, So we know that this has to be a linear. So that's one thing that you can use later on when I'm showing you how to do this on the calculator to help you solve this problem. Okay, Actually, I'm going to go ahead and show you on the calculator now. Okay, What you can do is, again, once you've gotten, once you've realized that this was a linear, you could have plugged all of these values into your calculator underneath stat, edit, and for our L1 and L2, our X and our Y, we already have these values listed in, okay, or entered in. I said originally that this problem was going to be a linear, okay, and we figured that out earlier. So what you can do is you can press stat, slide over to calculate, and slide down to number four, which is linear regression, and then press enter. It gives you this equation ax plus b. So we have so we know that our formula is in the form y equals ax plus b. That's slope intercept form pretty much and is the form for a line, okay? It tells us that our a equals 3. So we should have y equals 3x. That's a really cool looking 3 there, huh? Plus your b which is going to be 8. Okay? So we have plus 8 here. So that should be what our answer is, which is going to be choice D. And again, if you didn't understand it that way by plugging it into the calculator, what you could do is you can plug in an X to get out a Y, and you should get out the exact same Y. So if you had a 12 as your X value and tried to get, you should get out 44 if you plug that into choice D, and you can kind of figure that out. So if you wrote 44 equals... 3 times 12 plus 8. If you have 3 times 12, that's just going to give you 36. And then 36 plus 8 will give you 44. So you know that this worked out correctly. We got the same exact number. So we're probably thinking that this is going to be correct. Just to be safe, though, what I would typically tell you to do is make sure that more than two or two or more work out for this problem, just to make sure that it still gives you the correct answer. So if we plugged in 14, we should get out 50. So let's try that. If you have 50, that equals 3 times 14 plus 8. Okay? Well, you have 50. equals 14 times 3, and 14 times 3 is just 50, 42, thank you, and 42 plus 8 is 50. So 50 equals 50, so you know that this one works out correctly. Okay, so your answer is going to be choice D. Good luck. I hope this helps.